subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're back at Heights Antiques on Yale in the heart of the Houston Heights Historic District. Today we're going to take a look at this fantastic store, Chinoiserie Mid-Century, French Furnishings and Tabletop Treasures. Join me. So glad you've joined me today for Heights Antiques on Yale. There are lots of treasures we can discover together in this fabulous store. Some new collections and something that would be quite a wonderful symbol of hospitality for you. It's a warm welcome with a collection of brass pineapples. This was very popular in the mid-century. It's a way to add some decorative elements without being too luxurious or stuffy. And there are many ways that you can incorporate the pineapple. You could simply hide a candle inside on your entry table, as I do. It's also a good spot to park your keys and hide your favorite candy stash. A well-priced collection, and these you can buy individually. I did look at a very well-known website called Cherish, and to my great surprise, they are selling a set of three for $1,400 for the Hollywood Regency chiseled brass pineapples. This is $85 at nine and a half inches. That is a very fair price. Could easily build a collection here with varying heights. And this petite pineapple is $58. That would definitely add some interest to any side table or even a bookshelf. Quite the symbol of hospitality. If there's one thing I love, it is well-priced water for crystal. Let's take a look in this case and I'm going to share some deals with you. And we're starting off with a fruit collection. And if you're not already on our Facebook group page, Lady Mary Beth's Table, I encourage you to join us there. We have such fun showcasing our thrifted finds and collections, including the Waterford fruit. The strawberry is well-priced at $55 and the pear is a steal at $28. This retailed for $98 back in the 80s and 90s. These taper candle holders are fabulous. They're priced individually at $25 and for 50, you could have a pair, which is exactly half of the last retail price in the 90s. Another collection that you could consider is nautical. Waterford Crystal made all kinds of animals and collectibles. And one of my favorites is the conch shell. It's such a beautiful piece that showcases all of their cuts. It's $52. It's almost like a Glen plaid type of look, very masculine. And the dolphin is also fun and it rests just like this on the table. Also $52 and this would be a great summer look. You could also incorporate into a centerpiece. A wonderful array of chinoiserie with an Italian bust. And that's another example of how chinoiserie is such a great design element that goes with just about everything. And in looking at this, I'm reminded of an ancient Roman bust that was found in Austin, Texas at a Goodwill store, it was purchased by a lady for $34.99. It took her a couple of years, but she finally had it authenticated and donated it back to a museum in Germany where it last had been. And it dates to the late first century BC. It's priceless. Heights Antiques always has a great selection of chinoiserie. You might be wondering, what is it and why was it so popular? You might want to take a look at a previous segment where I cover the entire history of it. But basically, it was very popular amongst the aristocracy in the 17th and 18th centuries. They were fascinated by anything from the Asian world. And that was apparent in fashion, table settings, furnishings, and even architecture. A bronze sculpture would definitely add some interest to your space. I can see this in an entryway. And this one has quite a history. It's from about 1890. It's a young couple in love. 
it's $1,595 and it has the foundry mark on it. The booth owner has given us lots of information on this piece. And here we have chinoiserie with an embellishment. That gives me some ideas. A simple satin ribbon would be a great way to add something of interest to your ginger jar. This is a brass horse bit and it is well priced at $16. And we also have a colorful ginger jar here for $229. That's the temple jar with lots of wonderful colors. Here is a wall of chinoiserie, some old and some new. That foot bath would be a wonderful centerpiece. And when you're out antique shopping, of course you want to consider adding to your home decor and collections, but there's some new items as well. Great for gifting. I like the addition of anything sea related with the chinoiserie and an interesting color in these ginger jars. Chinoiserie and the lovely salmon color is a bit harder to find. This was popular in the late 19th century and you'll recognize the double happiness and the design is inspired by polonia, shoe and vine. Look at all that detail. This is well priced at $109 and it would make a great centerpiece. You could place it anywhere in your home such beauty here in this space. Now I'm going to take you into one of my favorite areas of this antique mall, the place that has it all. I feel like I'm in someone's dining room with a window to the world here in the Houston Heights. A very trendy area. And I wanted to show you a couple of furniture pieces that will definitely have you going to your local antique mall when you see the beauty and value. That hand carved basket is incredible. A country French vaisselier or china cabinet, $2,695. Another example of what you can't find when you shop retail for furnishings. This would be a great addition to a breakfast room. It doesn't have to go in a dining room and perhaps it could even fit in your kitchen. It's got some great storage. A striking mirror here with this beautiful sideboard. Just absolutely love everything about this area. And it gives me some ideas too for staging my sideboard. The tall chinoiserie ginger jars bring up the eye. The pop of color there with the plants. A country French buffet for $1,795. You can't go anywhere retail and find something of this quality or this price. And that's why it's always a good idea to shop your local antique stores. This has three cabinets and two drawers. You'll notice it also has different shelves inside, which is great for dish storage, for linens. It's got lots of attention to detail. And this is a great find. A lovely rose medallion centerpiece bowl. This shallow shape allows so many different options. You could put a vase in the center. It's from about 1900, it's 295. Round tables are great for entertaining. There's always room for one more chair. And this is in great condition. $995 would be perfect for your breakfast room. The classic blue willow. Those paper whites in that centerpiece bowl are just perfect. We get lots of ideas too when we're antique shopping. And there's another chinoiserie design element that I wanted to feature, give you an idea for an alternate use. These stools here you may have seen before in thrift stores. Don't pass these up. The brown is a bit harder to find, $659 for the pair. And you often will find these in the classic blue and white. And you'd be surprised the different ways that you can actually utilize these. Another look at that beautiful table where we saw that brass bit. Now here is a wonderful hidden treasure with so many possibilities. The blue and white is 425 with a dragon motif. Have you seen these garden stools and wondered maybe what you could do with these? How to incorporate these into your everyday? Besides placing them in the garden, of course. 
How about put this in a shower? Instead of having a built-in shower seat, this would add interest and it's very purposeful. The classic white is definitely something that would go in any room of your home and it's priced right at $195. I like that open work. Definitely would be a nice side table too to place a drink on next to a comfortable chair. Clocks are a favorite, something that we can all utilize and the price is right. I contacted my friend Mark when I saw this beautiful botanic garden Port Marion clock to see if he might be interested. He's got a great collection of Waterford clocks as you probably remember from previous segments where I purchased for him and bring home. And my daughter has this pattern as well. So I offered it to him and he said he would take it if it is made in England because so many pieces today are made in China and sure enough, made in England. This passes the Mark test and for $30, I will definitely take this home for him. Some Waterford finds. The Petite Cross is $60. I have this on my coffee table right now with a collection of crosses. The Lismar Biscuit Barrel at $115 is a bargain. It retails for about $400 on the Waterford website. I always like well-priced Waterford. The Biscuit Barrel at $115 is a very good price. Those retail for over $300. And the Cross is sweet too for $60. And now I see something else in the case. This would have been from slightly before my time at Waterford, although I do remember this still being around. I would say maybe from the 1980s. And it is sort of a masculine look with that Glen plaid design. It's a silver plated frame here on top. You could certainly polish that up for $19. I think they don't know it's Waterford. And I see this every once in a while in charity resale shops without this piece here. It's just a block of crystal. And you're probably wondering what could that be? Well, this is it in the original form. Now we go back in time to the 1960s and we learn a bit of history of some of the furnishings and barware. Lots to discover in this booth. 1963 is calling. We have an authentic Selig sofa. This is a company that inspired timeless designs to a generation of Americans in the mid-century. Has quite an interesting history and even had an effect in Europe. They were known for extraordinary designs and high quality materials. This is an exceptionally long sofa at 84 inches and is well priced at 1,250 with the original upholstery. And I have found these online for twice the price, even those that have been recovered and are not exactly authentic with the fabric. Mid-century metalware art that you may have seen before. I'm going to solve a mystery and tell you about its history. Much of mid-century art reflected metals and also some man-made materials. This is called Sunset Flight, and it is a well-known piece that I do see often online, sometimes for as much as $3,000. It's often attributed to the sculptor Curtis Jeray, but I will debunk that myth right now. This is from Home Interiors, known as Homeco. My mother was a distributor in the 1970s, and this piece would have been from about 1977 or 1978 and it's well priced at 325. Looks like the Brady Bunch's dinette set. Love those chairs. Now let's take a look at mid-century barware. It's actually making a comeback because of more people entertaining at home, not going out as much in light of what's happened the last couple of years. These vintage black glasses are fun at $50. And there are a lot of Culver glasses we'll see today as well. Love the 1950s with that edition of pink, 125 for this set of six. Perfect snowflakes. And this mid-century bowl is great for chips. It's $30 with that Harlequin design. And we have a bit of fruit represented here and an Asian inspired set. $60 for the six vintage red glasses. And definitely it's more affordable to shop in an antique store for barware. You get something a lot nicer. The set of cherry glasses, $60. And it has a bit of history, as many items do in this particular booth. Such fun. And then we'll take a look at this cabinet here. And I will share some insight into the style, era, and history. 
This piece of furniture is $875 and listed as a German sideboard. It's actually considered a Wohnzimmerschrank, which is a living room cabinet. In Germany, there are no built-in closets or even built-in units in your home. And this would be a great example of the post-war era in the 1950s when they were looking for lighter wood, something that had just quite a different, more modern look. And this would be great storage for even a mini bar, for records, perhaps even a stereo system. And this is still a staple today in every German living room. And this section of the Wohnzimmerschrank is for barware, something you see in the modern versions in Germany today. Look at those beautiful oval transfer platters graduated there on the wall and a carved French oak cabinet. Look at the attention to detail, complete with the key, 4,295. And it's sort of like a china cabinet and a server. Lots of beautiful plates here, chinoiserie and transferware. And trays are always practical, handy to have on hand. And here we've got one with a collapsible stand, 189. Lots of wonderful collections here in the store. In this booth, it's all about country French. And we get some ideas here as well. And the beautiful blue and white. And I love the lemons. That's something I used to collect. A very Mediterranean touch here. It's always nice to get ideas as you are shopping in an antique store. You might find ways to display everyday essentials you can keep close at hand, perhaps on the kitchen bar or counter, even maybe the center of your breakfast table. And behind me, we have lots of blue and white. This is a vintage blue willow piece, and I'm going to tell you more about this mystery item as we move about the store. A classic transferware pattern from Johnson Brothers. This is Old Britain Castles in blue. I have it in pink, which is sort of a red transferware. These salt and pepper shakers would make a great gift. Whether someone has white dishes or other transferware, very well priced at $21. And that classic blue willow pattern, which is the most popular pattern that's out there in tabletop because it was made by so many different manufacturers over decades, if not centuries. Lots of detail there. Kitchen essentials that are used for display. I really like the idea of the copper pots. And scales are also highly collectible. I have a friend that has at least a dozen in her breakfast room. And you could, of course, place something interesting inside. $269 for the scales. Interesting to see the kitchen essential used in decor. And now let's take a look at something that you might enjoy on your breakfast table that could be purposeful and another tabletop essential. It's always interesting when you find a vintage or antique piece that inspires something new, especially from a top designer. This is a porcelain reticulated compote, meaning it's got a pierced edge and it is beautiful with the back stamp of Oscar de la Renta. And one of the more original ones here has a back stamp of Bavaria. It is also reticulated and has some beautiful colors here. It'd be great for the spring season. Compotes are definitely something that you could use in a myriad of ways, and I consider this to be a tabletop essential. The Bavarian version, $36.50 similar in price to the newer Oscar de la Renta. Such beauty here in one bowl. Egg cups have had a starring role in food culture since 18th century BC. And this is something that elevates your serving of a hard or soft boiled egg in its shell, and it helps to balance it as well. But have you ever seen the larger ones? These are known as double egg cups. It's always been a mystery to me, and I will explain the use of this particular vessel. This is a mystery solved for me. These are actually double egg cups, and you'll notice, of course, they're quite a bit larger. And this is meant for after the shells are removed. It allows you to chop and season the egg, and you can garnish with crumbled toast, bacon, or ham. And many of these were even imported from France. These are absolutely great purposeful pieces for your brunch table. 
Another great back stamp full of history. This double egg cup was manufactured by Theodore Haviland of France. This was made for a department store that was headquartered in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This started in 1887, and that is Woodward and Lothrop, affectionately called Woodies. They ceased operations in 1995. A glass cloche is a wonderful way to showcase a collection, and you can even create a centerpiece with this. $85 includes the metal base. I show you in previous segments how I utilize glass cloches on my dining server and how you even make your own. Hummel figurines are highly collectible. There they are next to some Waterford crystal. Stay tuned for a feature of High Street Antiques in the Dallas area, where I teach you a little bit more about the history of Hummel figurines. A Cambridge Sterling Overlay Bowl for $40. I can think of about 100 uses for that. It's a wonderful addition to your collection. And mid-century barware. Now we're going to look at a spring segue to summer setting with that classic chinoiserie. Love all the vibrant colors and florals. You definitely get some ideas when you're out antique shopping. And this booth does not disappoint. It's a beautiful world of chinoiserie here. We also learn a few design tricks. You can actually hang some decorative plates from a screen or perhaps even an old door as we would often find in Round Top, Texas at the antique show. And here we have a touch of spring in so many creative ways. And I always like to pay attention when I'm antique shopping because I frequently will pick up some design ideas. And you could at least take some of these elements to incorporate them into your setting. And this mantle is fantastic. Incorporating vintage and a bit worn along with some new items is actually quite an interesting mantle look. You wouldn't think that a mirror that looks like it could possibly even be discarded or needs to be refinished would create a beautiful look layering it with another mirror. And so many of these items that come together beautifully and create a great look for the season. We're taking a step back into the mid century, the 1960s with some great furniture pieces and a restaurant tabletop essential, something that you would have found a lot in the 60s and 70s, and I will tell you about the history of it and maybe why we don't see it so much anymore. And this would have been more of a promotional product that was also practical and in use at bars and restaurants. And you'll see some different logos here. Spice up your cocktail party with vintage swizzle sticks, also called drink stirrers. These were a staple in the age of cocktails and definitely very fitting with the mid-century era. And about the end of the 70s, you definitely saw a decline in that. And there are two reasons that these are not a staple today and highly collectible. One is a wine competition, the Judgment of Paris in 1976 two California wines beat out French wines in that competition. There was an increased interest in domestic wines in the United States. And also in 1980, MAD was founded, that's Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and then it became more of a liability issue for an airline, a hotel, a bar, any company to have their name on a swizzle stick. A beautiful dinnerware collection, most of which is transferware. We can thank Josiah Spode, the company's founder, for this because he perfected a technique to flawlessly transfer patterns onto ceramic underglaze. These pink Charlotte plates are a great example. And the most interesting thing about it, it is a fluted plate, but let's take a look at the back stamp. It is absolutely a work of art. It gives us lots of information here. Reproduced in Royal Staffordshire, Burslem, England. Design originally from 1830. Here's a mason terrine with lid and underplate. And that could be a centerpiece bowl. Can do so much with this. A vast assortment of pink transferware. And this is a great example of how you can mix all of these patterns. It doesn't have to be from the same manufacturer. And here we have even a pop of color within our transferware patterns. 
a pop of color with transferware. This bread and butter plate could be a base for a sherbet dish if you're serving chicken salad or shrimp cocktail. And the back stamp is Dorchester Johnson Brothers, England. And the dinner plate is lovely with the butterfly cherry blossoms. And the back stamp is Alfred Meekin, Medway Decor from England. Sunflowers are quite popular and they pair well with this toll tray. We'll talk more about the history of this on our visit to High Street Antiques in Dallas. Stay tuned. The English biscuit barrel for 125 was a staple in many British homes. I know one viewer, Chrissy, has reached out to me that she grew up with this very biscuit barrel. Love it. Chinoiserie, of course, goes with transferware. This has a nice gold rim, 325. And it is vintage. And now we're going upstairs. Here's an overview of what we've seen downstairs. And there's some wonderful booths to discover here. Can't wait to show you. Lots to discover upstairs as well. Such beauty and history in this antique store, including this teacup and saucer from Zagemun, my husband's area of Europe. And it is from 1860 to 1919, and it is $32. The beautiful back stamp of the Zagamun cup and saucer set. Look at that green shield. And there's some wonderful things here in this booth, including some linens, a canister set, and our favorite classic blue and white. And I like how these utensils, the flatware, is stored in a trumpet vase. What a great idea. You could use that for your buffet with dessert forks. A Wedgwood Terrine from 1860, $55. That would be an individual size. A vintage Blue Willow Child's Tea Set, elevated on an EAPG cake stand that is very well priced. This is definitely worth coming upstairs to see the wonderful deals. A lovely children's tea set. I have lots of memories. As a child, I would host imaginary teas with my friends as they were over visiting ages three, four, and five. We didn't necessarily have anything in our teacups, but we imagined that we did. And of course, we always had beautiful children's sets and just love those memories. And of course, that segued into real tea parties soon after. The Blue Willow teapot is $16 and it looks to be vintage. And speaking of vintage, here are some hat pin holders, a thing of the past, but we can still learn from that era. In 1908, laws were passed in the United States that limited the length of hat pins, as there was concern they might be used by suffragettes as weapons. And by the 1910s, ordinances were passed requiring them to have covers or tips so as not to injure people accidentally. This canister or spice set is quite interesting and it looks to be Art Deco, $72 from Germany. They made it for the US market. Linens, I just adore, especially when you can find monograms. And it doesn't have to be yours to be enjoyed or embraced. And I especially like the raised monograms. Set of four napkins with the letter F. Maybe you're out shopping and you think of your friend. It could be a first initial, last initial. The basket is classic. I've seen this for years, $6. It was a pattern that was often copied by many women. That is graceful and would be perfect for tea time. The curtain tiebacks you probably remember from the Winchester Antique Mall visit and in Round Top, $24.95. Could be a decorative element. A classic and beautiful pattern from Minton, Haddon Hall. This is quite a complete set, especially that center covered vegetable, which could be a great base for a centerpiece. And you'll notice that this pairs very well with elegant glass of the depression era. And here we've got the two handled soup, gorgeous back stamp. And look at all the colors. And I especially like that they give us the history. It was founded in 1793. This actually has some etching on it. $42 for six plates. Those are perfect. 
and it lightens up the pattern too so you don't take it so seriously and it actually brings more light to the table and this pink Jeanette Glass Company cake stand $15 love that if any of you have this pattern I would love to hear from you in the comments below and this booth definitely has some great things including silver trays and ironstone there's another toll tray and I'm seeing another reticulated compote and of course we're going to turn it over look at the back stamp and talk all about it the back stamp features a wreath, the word union, and the letter T, and it says that it's made in Czechoslovakia. And that's because the McKinley Act of 1890 required that items that were exported to the United States must have the country of origin. And that union was actually a porcelain manufacturer's group. This is actually a T under the union, and we have a more legible version here underneath, because these are two pieces, as you can see, they've been put together. And the T stands for Turn und Teplitz, which is a factory of Ernst Wallis, a German porcelain manufacturer. And that mark was used from 1921 to 1927. It was association member funded and a group of smaller companies. It merged in 1927 with its competitor, EPIAG Group, which is Erste Böhmische Porzellan Industrie AG. And now we're going to look at some more vintage pieces, including a telephone light. This is so that you could easily find, I guess, a telephone booth. And that's definitely a relic now. Nothing that you would find on the streets. $500. I don't even think telephone booths exist anymore. And here we're all about barware. Lots of mid-century here, a Texas jigger. That looks like fun. The frosted glasses with the caddy I think is so neat for $60. It's easy to carry. You could even bring it to the front porch, fill it with iced tea lemonade or your favorite cocktail. And these are really neat. Set of seven for $60. Straight out of Mad Men. And the Asian inspired whiskey glasses, a set of eight for $120. You know, there has to be a touch of chinoiserie, even in mid-century barware. Culver is a company very well known from that era. $60 for these swirl glasses. And you even have some single old fashions. The trays are fabulous, especially like that yellow one with the cherry blossoms. And here we have some tulips. $60 for a set of eight with the caddy. That's a really good deal. And you see those swizzle sticks. I know we have a lot of viewers in the Netherlands and I'm thinking of you with these classic tulip glasses. And we're all proud to be Texans. $36. That is a neat glass tray, but it's also called an ashtray. I just saw these are lovely too. They go very well with that tray. And that's something I don't have a lot of. A punch bowl that you might recognize from Round Top, made by Duncan Miller. This is $150 with 12 cups. This is a fabulous set. And of course, red goes with just about every holiday and occasion. And if you're looking for one color, that would be my party choice. Think about Christmas, Valentine's, 4th of July, birthdays. Even in the fall, you could tie in that red. Absolutely love this set. Now we're back downstairs and I wanted to give you another look at some of the furniture. I know we talked about some pieces in the beginning, but these are fabulous. This one is on hold for a customer, 1,295 for that carved walnut buffet. And there seems to be a theme here with that basket and I just adore it. And their prices are really good on a lot of the furniture here today. There's a marble topped piece and here is another French marble top piece that's perfect for a bedroom. It's 1,495 and you'll see it has a display area 
So you could put perhaps a figurine on either side. You'll see that ledge here in just a second. And then there are also some small drawers on either side. And perhaps that would be for gloves. You could put a string of pearls there. Just wonderful storage. I've had such fun at Heights Antiques on Yale and I'm so glad you joined me today. I had such fun today shopping at Heights Antiques on Yale and I'm taking home this Port Marion Botanic Garden clock. There's always something to discover and a bit of history that we can learn along the way. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.